go over again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. So if anybody didn't know what was up, you know, this your boy Tommy Mav. Um, I guess when it rains, it pours. Because now Clyde Drexler is coming out and saying something that I've been saying for years. Um, and also pointing out what a huge lie The Last Dance was and how it was pretty much The Last Man Standing. It wasn't The Last Dance. It should be called The Last Man Standing because the only person left looking good was Michael Jordan. Um, everybody else looked bad. I mean, like I said, he made Magic Johnson look bad. He made Scottie Pippen look bad. He made, uh, he made everybody look bad but him. Right? I mean, it, it was the weirdest documentary I've ever seen in my entire life in which it was an old to a person who, who basically had final say cut out everything that could be construed as negative without it without him having to have to either argue it dead point or uh or just he just outright ignored it right he never he, he never really answered anything outside of saying um well what what do you expect me to do oh what was i supposed to do i'm um, not go to the casino at two o'clock in the morning you might want to try that um don't punch your your teammates don't bully people you, you, like he, he the, the funniest thing is him and his fans act as if there's only one way to play play basketball right Scottie Pippen had that very same team that very same team that everybody said Michael Jordan had to push the greatness he had that very same team without Michael Jordan in the Eastern Conference Finals a game away from the NBA Finals so obviously they did not need what Michael Jordan did. Am I right? So so you, you would think if they had those very same mindsets with those same play with the same if he would have did the same thing Scottie Pippen was doing with Scottie Pippen's talent and his talent, they probably would have won the NBA championship regardless. So let's cut the BS that Michael Jordan was doing this because he was a great team leader. That we all know that's not true. Michael Jordan did that because he was a selfish human being who, who loved to critique others without ever taking critique. Um, oh, I, he said to himself, well, this is the funniest thing I heard on the documentary. Um, I'm never going to ask what what you can say is I would never. I'm never going to ask someone to do something I wouldn't do myself. Um, yes, you are. All you did was ask people to do stuff that you wouldn't do yourself, which is namely watching someone else take 60 fucking shots while you sitting over the side, rebounding, playing defense, getting open, and he not passing you the fucking ball. Yes, you asked him to do something that you were not asked to do, which is bust their ass while you get all the glory. No, you would not do that. So stop it. You would not, you would not do everything you asked him to do, you did not do. Like cut the BS. Yes, hard. It's great. It's easy to work hard when you know you're getting all the accolades for it. It's harder to work hard when you know damn well that all it's gonna do is be as a footnote in Jordan's greatness. Say so, hell, I'm gonna do what the hell I'm gonna do. That's why I be saying to the people about LeBron James. It's like, like yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. I'm a fan of LeBron. You know what I'm saying. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a huge. I'm 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 a huge LeBron fan, but I'm definitely a LeBron James fan. It's like. People get on my nerves with that. It's like, like I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying, um, or, or somebody like that. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to be a footnote in LeBron's greatness. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And, and LeBron does drive me crazy sometimes with that jump because LeBron James, LeBron will go around padding stats and so, sometimes, and you be like, dang, LeBron man, like I, I get it, I get that. You know what I'm saying? That that's your your game. But at the same time, how the hell I look? You know what I'm saying? When I'm sitting out here standing up and and, 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 and you're not doing your job as the number one, which is to, to take pressure off me, and then when when we lose, I get I get the first I get the, the heap of the blame. But if I do great, they just say LeBron James made me great. So and, and, but even though LeBron, like I said, LeBron James is way more of a gracious person than Michael Jordan is. LeBron James goes out of his way to commend and talk about how great his teammates are. Who, who he goes out of his way to 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 to, to, to at times, uh, um um give give uh, I mean go back and look at LeBron James, all his teammates. LeBron James always goes out of his way to give accolades and, and credit to his teammates. So I'm not saying it's LeBron's fault, but at times it is. You know what I'm saying? When LeBron James goes out there and he's not playing aggressive like he does sometimes, it is very annoying as a as a role player because your job as a role player is not to be a number one option. 
You know what I'm saying? When you call Corp, your job is not to hit 18, uh, 8 or 9 threes. You, if you, J.R. Smith, your job is not to hit 8 or 9 threes. That's reserved for, for Steph Curry or, or, or you know, Clay Thompson. Pro, these are primary players. You, you're a role player. That means you out what needed. And, and I just get annoyed when people are like, well, well, they got, I'm sorry. Yeah, LeBron James was good enough to get these play, get, get players who weren't that great to the championship game. But that doesn't make them great once they get there. When LeBron James goes to this passive jump where, he, where, where the defense basically keeps forcing him to get rid of the ball, right? And LeBron James does this thing where they trap me, he passes the ball, and doesn't even try. Like, LeBron, you got to shoot. You know what I'm saying? And at times, he would drive you crazy with that. <coughs> you like, all you screaming, like, LeBron, you got to shoot. They're not going to come out unless you start shooting. It's, you're not going to make it easier for your, your role players if you don't start shooting. And LeBron's reluctant sometimes to just start airing. He, he's not joy. LeBron is just not going to just start shooting shots. That's not LeBron James' game. He can shoot, and I don't know why he doesn't shoot more, but LeBron will sit there and LeBron will hold the ball. He will try to force it inside. He does that sometimes to a to a fault. You know what I'm saying? He just does it to a fault all the time. Like He, he thinks the only way he can score is by getting inside or, or assisting. It's like, LeBron, you can shoot. Like, shoot the ball. Like, stop trying to force it inside. And I know it's because he gets so much crap. Um, LeBron gets so much crap for shooting. Right? He's so big, he's so quick, he's so fast. You should always be going to the hole. But you cannot do that sometimes. And sometimes LeBron James has got to has got to pull up, shoot the J. You can shoot. You know what I'm saying? You're not Will Chamberlain. You're not Magic, Magic Johnson. You can shoot. Shoot. You know, I, I, so, and when he doesn't shoot, it, 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 it causes them to be able to, to close out on their shooters. It allows it allows people to bow, to, to, to cram the uh, the the, the paint so his <clears throat> so his beings can't get can't get rebounds and or putbacks. You know, it's like LeBron does kill me with that. So I'm not trying to say LeBron's perfect, but <clears throat> but as a teammate Richard Jefferson, look at all the people that played with LeBron. Even Kyrie Irving. All the people that pay, play with LeBron. Who's bashing? I mean, they they tried to push that narrative that Kyrie left because of LeBron, but LeBron Kyrie went on went came on later on to say he wished he would have um, he would have been more mature about the situation and that LeBron was just trying to help him out. He didn't. So all this stuff they were trying to say about LeBron, he was the drama king and all this, and that's why Kyrie left. Nope, that's Kyrie said that was not why he left. So if you go back, go go. This man don't been playing for damn near twenty years. Find somebody who has something negative to say about LeBron who LeBron wasn't kicking their ass. Find someone who wasn't an opponent of LeBron James that that um that that set got something negative to say about him. Now 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 um just suppose that with, with Michael Jordan. Find someone on Michael Jordan's team that actually thought he was a good guy. That actually thought he was a nice guy. That actually thought he was a good teammate. None, zero. All of them push that same bullshit narrative because they don't want to get get the flat from the Jordan fans that he was a great. That all oh, was some people got different leadership style. You know, getting damn well. Just so like Horace, Horace Grant said, miss me with that leadership crap. He was a terrible leader. He was not a good leader. Half of the time, he crushed the spirits of the players on his own team. He was the reason why they were having funks. He was the reason why they were they were dealing with the situations they were dealing with. So. The whole myth, like I said, that Michael Jordan is doing this, and, and Clyde Drexler comes out, and Clyde Drexler comes out and says, "Like, look, dude, this dude was shooting twenty shots a game. I mean, forty shots a game. He was like, we didn't have free range to shoot forty times. We, we we didn't get away with that. He was the only one in the league that got away with shooting forty times a game. We didn't. It's like we. Was like, That's what that what Clyde Drexler said. Like, dude, come on, you trying to come on TV and talk as if, oh, uh, how dare you compare me to my uh, uh, me to Clyde Drexler." I like, hold up, oh boy, y'all have pretty similar games. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why it uh, uh, annoys you so much is because the, uh, the the freaking comparison was out. Outside the fact that you shot way more than he did, what made you so much better than Clyde Drexler? 
That, that's what trips me out. Somebody they can sit up there and they can talk all that bullshit all they want. Yes, Michael Jordan is the most one of the most athletic, if not the most athletic um, shooting guard to ever play the game. The most talented, uh, uh, naturally talented shooting guard to ever play the game. You're not even trying to compare that, right? But Clyde Drexel was pretty damn good too. So you sit up there, you try to say, was he that much more athletic than than, than Clyde Drexel? Hell yeah, Michael Jordan was a freak. Yes. Was Clyde Drexler a slack when it came to athleticism? Hell no. Clyde was a, was a pretty good athletic player too. Skills. Clyde Drexler was a way better skilled player than Michael Jordan was. Clyde Drexler had a better three-point shot. Clyde Drexler could take people better off the, off the, off the uh, dribble. But it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because when it's all said and done, and, 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 I, will, and I will give people who don't want to say, that, that he was it, it, he was out and out a better three point shooter than Michael Jordan. I'll give him that, right? It, but even if you don't want to give him that, he was a better skill player than Michael Jordan. He was no he was no slouch. You know what I'm saying? Clyde Drexler was a decorated, damn good foot basketball player. You know what I mean? And and, 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 and so he's sitting up there like, look, look, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't took this jump. You know, I've been taking jump from Jordan for years. You know what I'm saying? As most people have. Because Jordan fans. So you can't come back. You can't clap back at Jordan because what exactly what happened to Clyde Drexler happens to Clyde Drexler. If you say something about Jordan, it's all over every ESPN headline. And they all, all people doing is bashing you all day. So nobody says anything negative about Michael Jordan because they don't want to end up on ESPN. Now, you say something negative about LeBron, you're going to be all over ESPN. But you're not going to be getting bashed. People, gonna be, people ain't even going to talk about you. We'll be talking about LeBron and his shortcomings the whole day, right? You say something about Michael Jordan, they come after you the whole all day, just like with Isaiah Thomas, just like with Scottie Pippen, just like with Horace Grant. You say something negative about LeBron, I mean Michael Jordan, all day, because he had, right? Like I said, his the people who watched him, the people that was in his generation, like I said, from 30 years ago, the ones that were around 14, 15 years old, 30 years ago, are the ones that are are the, are are, the, are, are in power in the media right now. So you say something about their hero, they just start cutting you down. Never actually come into the merit of what Clyde Drexler said, which was Michael Jordan shot 40 times a, a, a night. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like if you want to really compare it, compare Michael Jordan, and you need to compare him to Wilt Chamberlain. Because him and Wilt shot around the same amount, except Wilt was way more dominant than Michael Jordan ever was. Michael Jordan was hovering around 60, um, 40% from the field. He was a, a terribly inefficient shooter. He shot a bunch of shots and missed a lot of shots. So, so like Clyde was saying, you want to like they have these discussions about greatest of all time, and you don't mention Kareem, you don't mention Will. And that's what this is what I said when people went when when, she, when Paul Pierce said that bull that BS about oh. Uh, 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 Kareem is back. Uh, LeBron is in, isn't in his top five. I say, I mean, uh, Jalen Rose said that uh, he would put Kareem over LeBron. I said, there's not a stat that you can say that Kareem is better than LeBron at that you can't say he's better than Jordan at. It's just impossible. Because LeBron is better than Jordan in everything. I don't give a hell what you say. LeBron is a better passer than Jordan. He's a better scorer than Jordan. And I don't give a shit what you say. Le Jordan is a mid-range shooter who relied purely off his athletic ability. So if you say Michael Jordan is a better, is a is a more talented scorer than than LeBron James, then you damn well better say uh, uh freaking um uh what's his name uh Russell Westbrook is a better scorer than LeBron. That's crazy. You try to tell me if LeBron shot as many times as Michael Jordan shot. LeBron wouldn't destroy every record that that, that um, Michael Jordan has. Be real. If my if LeBron shot twenty more times a game than he normally does for the rep for his entire career, that man's points would be in the it would be in the in in, 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 in the freaking nanosphere. That man junk would be so. I mean, his, his record would never be touched. Problem is LeBron does not shoot as much as Jordan, so they automatically give Jordan the better scorer award because he shot way more shots. He was way like Kareem was a more efficient scorer than he was. LeBron is a way more efficient scorer than he is. Kevin Durant is a way more efficient scorer. But Kevin Durant is possibly the, the most, uh, mo the greatest scorer in the history of the game, meaning the most versatile scorer ever. It's Kevin Durant, right? 
Kevin Durant is lethal in every single part of the game, right? But I, I, that's why I say he's the most. He's a, he's probably the best scorer, and I wouldn't give him that before. But now I now it's got to a point where you look back and he's like, nah, Kevin Durant is probably the best scorer to ever live, ever play the game, will ever play the game probably, will be Kevin Durant. Michael Jordan was a very limited scorer who shot a lot. Kobe Bryant was a very versatile scorer, but he's also, his numbers are also way inflated because he shot a lot. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like, I'm not trying to say that, that these players aren't great scorers. What I'm trying to say is you don't know how efficient Michael Jordan would have been if he would have been shooting 20 times a night like a normal player. You think he would have been averaging what he was averaging if he was shooting 20 times a night? Probably not. So I just think it's it's, it's terribly uh, misguided when people automatically give him the scorer thing over LeBron because I don't think he's a better scorer than LeBron. People are obviously not a better rebounder. He's uh, people want to give him a better defender. You're out of your fucking mind. LeBron six eight two sixty. LeBron was LeBron played a more de and they're like well Jordan was nine time all de uh, all defensive team. Um, he played two guard. It's not really a defensive position. Name a good two guard. Somebody do that. Name a great two guard. Defensively, that played around the time outside of Ron Harper, who was on his team. Name another two guard. A right that played during, during with Michael Jordan, Clyde Drexler. Who? Who? So don't give me this shit. They love to put up. Who is he? Who is he competing against? LeBron James is competing against Andre Iguodala, Kawhi Leonard. Um, hell, we could go down the line. Forget how many great uh, the three, the three and D is is in the name. Three and D. They're, they're calling card of LeBron's position is defense. So of course LeBron is if LeBron is LeBron's gonna be having a way harder competition to, to get all defensive team than Michael Jordan never had at two guard. Guarding the third best of, um offensive player on his team. Like stop it. This is what gets on my last nerve. He was not a better defender than LeBron. Because he, LeBron had to guard the best player on the other team while still getting his on the other side. LeBron guarded one through five and shut them down. It's like, it's like, and it, it, it just blows my mind. It really does. Did you see what LeBron did? LeBron is 30, damn now 40. Shutting down. Giannis, Kawhi. Can you imagine how good he was when he was actually young and vibrant? But you stupid enough to believe that, that Michael Jordan, because he won all defensive team nine times, is a better defender than LeBron James. You out of your fucking mind. And it makes no sense whatsoever. Who was he competing against at the two position, at the two guard position? Nobody. And we just gonna act like, oh well, well, I mean, let's 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 just tell the truth. You know, he did win nine times. Oh, come on. That's the most weighted award I've ever seen. It's like, come on, dude. We, we, are we going to sit up here and act like that was some 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 um super incredible, incredible thing? Two guard is an offensive position. Who, who, if they looking up that list of who to put on the all-NBA team, you think they gonna, who they going to put over Jordan during that time? Who was this competition at two guard? Thank you. It's like, it's like that, that that blows my mind. Like, stop it. He was not a better defender than LeBron. He was not a better um rebounder. He was not a better passer. And if you want to say scorer, if he was a better scorer than LeBron, if you want to give him that, he was barely better than LeBron. So how in the hell can you have a debate about who the greatest player of all time? You trying to tell me you put LeBron James on that team with Scott? Well, they probably not Scotty Pippen because Scotty Pippen is more of a um. Uh, same type of player LeBron is, so I don't know how well they would have worked together. But you put LeBron James with a Kyrie Irving, or who was a six-six Kyrie Irving, put it that way, who could actually play defense and a defender like Rodman. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you trying to tell me LeBron would be? Would, you give LeBron a, a a defender like like Rodman, defender rebounder like Rodman, a um. 6'6", six, six, shooting guard like Jordan, who could light it up, 
and still play defense and not be a liability like Kyrie was on the on where you gotta you gotta either sub him on offense, you gotta have him offensive or defense. Now, D Wade was great, but D Wade was also limited. He was only 6'3 and he was he was hampered by injuries throughout his career. Love D Wade. D Wade six D Wade is the best teammate LeBron James has ever had. I'm not trying to spin on Kyrie or I mean Dwayne Wade. Beast. But Dwayne Wade ain't 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 no six six guard. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. He's great for a 6'3 guard. 6'2, 6'3 guard, but he ain't no 6'6 guard. Let's stop that. You know what I'm saying? He's not a Scottie Pippen. He's not a 6'8 wing that can shut somebody down on the defensive side. I'm sorry, that's not who Dwayne Wade is. He's a he's a great he's a, he's a great defender and an all-time great offensive player. But yeah, I'm sorry. You're gonna need a little more help on the defensive side when you're going against a, a more talented uh wing. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, uh, uh, more talented wing, because he's not going to be able to stop three through five. Not not all the way. He'll he'll be able to pass the run, but he's not going to be able to shut him down. Dwayne Wade is just not big enough. Um, but regardless, you know what I'm saying. And I say that because I love Dwayne Wade, so I'm not trying to crap on Dwayne Wade. I'm just saying that's that's the issue. Um, but that being said, I mean the the the. The fact that Clyde, once again, Clyde Dressel came out and said the truth. Like, dude, let's not, uh, you, you can put poop on me all you want, but I wasn't shooting 40 times. I wasn't shooting 40 times a night. I wasn't shooting that many times a night. So, whatever you want to say about me, fine. Say it. But at the, at the end of the time, let the people know the truth. You have free range to do shit that nobody else in the league had free range to do. That's why you got shut out the All-Star game. Everybody want to point at uh, Isaiah Thomas and say, oh, Isaiah Thomas, did, did, did he shut him out. Now. It takes more than one person to, to shut somebody out of the All-Star game. To what, uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas was not the only one who touched the ball. Nobody wanted to pass it to Jordan because they found it annoying that this guy was getting all his accolades for losing and shooting a lot. Clyde knew what he was. And all these people who sit up there and say, oh, when, when, whenever a competitor, a better dude who LeBron mopped the floor with, comes out and says something negative about him for years, it's been, his own players don't respect him. Look what, his own com com competition don't respect him. We're starting to realize a lot of Jordan competition didn't respect him much either. And it's so, it, it ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. You know what I'm saying? All this time, LeBron James has been out there. They have always gone back to have him scrutinized by people around him and constantly having to answer to why this. Now Jordan man starting to feel that heat. They starting to realize a lot of these dudes are tired of sitting back while this dude is sitting up there like he's King Tut, chopping everybody down. And one of them is like me too. One of them stepped forward, now all of them stepping forward. Saying, look, dude, I know that they don't paint this picture of you, that you this all-time great um, greatness. But let's be real. You were shooting 40 times a night. Let's stop. Let's stop this junk. You have more free range. As I said a couple years, if, if I could come into a game and shoot 40 times a game, then I'm going to be the great. I'm going to be great, too. I'm going to get all the credit because I'm shooting 40 times a night. So if I have an off night or, or a good night, it does not matter because I'm going to end up with 30 points anyway. And one thing he said that really pissed me off, he says, he says, I never asked them to do anything I was not willing to do myself. That's what he said. Bro, you and I both know you didn't. I'll say it again. You did not play with a dude that shot 40 times a night and made you and got all the credit while you bust your ass to get scraps. Only shots you got was the ones that he didn't want to take. The only only passes you got, the two or three passes you got was the ones where he got caught and had no other option but the pass to you. You didn't have to deal with that. So you were not asking him to do you asking them to run knowing they ain't going to get no fucking credit when the game starts. That's what you were asking them to do. Y'all were not, you were not asking them to do what you did. 
You're asking them to do beyond what you did. And, and, and it was so unfair to ask them to do that. But regardless, I just want to stop in and, and let you guys uh, hear what I got to say on the, on, on the old Clyde Drexler situation. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thumbs it up. All right, y'all. Peace.